Welcome back everybody. So today I am going to be making sopa de mariscos, also known as caldo or sopa de siete mares. This is a Mexican style seafood soup that I grew up having. It's delicious and it's perfect for a cold and rainy day like today. I'm not sure what the weather's like where you are at, but today it is just damp, cold and rainy. So this will definitely warm us up for dinner. Here's how I do it. So to get started, I'm gonna show you all of the seafood that's going into this. So to start here, I have a half pound of base scallops and I'm gonna end up using a full pound of codfish. Use the fish of your choice. Here I have a half pound of Dungeness crab legs and I'm also going to be using a half pound of seafood mix. I picked this up from my local seafood market and I'm also going to be using a half pound of extra jumbo shrimp. And I did remove the shells and I reserved it because I'm going to use the shrimp shells to make a broth. Okay, so on to the broth. There are so many ways to make a simple broth, but this is how I like to do it. So here I have four and a half quarts of water. And to that, I'm going to add a variety of ingredients. I reserved all of the shells from the shrimp that I deveined and peeled. Here I have one green onion that it has the bulb at the bottom, one stick of celery, one medium stick of carrot. I have a bunch of cilantro and about seven cloves of fresh garlic that I just left the skin on and I just gave it a mash. It's all going into my water and I'm also going to be using two tablespoons of chicken bouillon powder base. Now you don't have to use that. You could just use salt at some point, or you don't have to season the broth right now and just salt your soup later. But I like the flavor that the bouillon gives the broth. So I'm gonna turn my heat on, and I'm going to bring my pot of water and ingredients to a rolling boil. And once it starts to boil, I'm going to put it on a medium heat, cover it with a lid, and let it gently simmer for about 30 to 45 minutes. Then I'm going to strain the broth to remove all of the shrimp shells and ingredients. And you are left with a very flavorful broth to start your soup. And I am ultimately going to use around three quarts of this broth in the soup. So there are various ways that I make this soup. Sometimes I like to add potatoes, corn, carrot, and zucchini to make it a bit heartier. So at this point, you'd probably want to add your potatoes and carrots. Let it simmer and cook for about 15 minutes, then add zucchini and fresh ears of corn. Let it continue cooking for five minutes, then you're going to add the rest of your seafood and other ingredients. But I'm not adding those today. So here to my broth, I am going to just add a half cup or four ounces of tomato puree. I'm also going to add one tablespoon of Louisiana hot sauce. You can use something like Tabasco sauce, Valentina sauce, Cholula, the hot sauce of your choice. I like Louisiana hot sauce. So I'm gonna give that a mix. And here at this point, you'll want to taste it for things like salt, or if you wanna use more of that chicken powder base, add a little bit more. And they, there is also a seafood or shrimp bouillon powder base. You can definitely use that, but I like to use the chicken. So now I'm going to just add salt to taste. I'm using a sea salt with this. I'm gonna give it a mix and I'm going to bring this up to a simmer. Once your broth is simmering, you're gonna to want to start adding your raw seafood first. The only thing that I have raw is basically my shrimp, scallops, and fish. So I'm going to put those in first. Then I have the seafood mix. The crab legs were already cooked. I'll add that in. So this is all gonna go quick. Just in the matter of seconds, that shrimp already looks like it's cooked. So you don't want to boil your seafood for a long time. It's literally going to take less than five minutes if your broth has already simmered and it's up to a good hot temperature. So I'm going to continue adding all of my seafood. I'm going to give it a mix. And if it needs a little more salt or something like maybe some Louisiana hot sauce, I might add a dash to it and then it's ready to serve. So after serving my husband's bowl, I'm just going to add some garnishes and toppings. We like to add chopped scallions, fresh cilantro, a squeeze of lime, some fresh avocado, and sometimes I like to add extra hot sauce 
to this and it's perfect. And then my husband, what he'll do is add a scoop of steamed rice and this is a light, refreshing, warm, and possibly hearty soup all in one. It's so delicious, you guys, especially when it's cold and rainy outside. So I hope you give this recipe a try. I hope you like it. And thanks for watching.